shot from Zayla, and there it is! Well, you always remember your first! LAFC, 1-0 in the month of July, and now the second half of the season has begun in earnest. Well into that second half now. The All-Star Game looming here at the end of July. You have games at the LA Galaxy, the highly anticipated game. That's coming up here in a couple weeks. And then a shot here at home against the reigning champs, Atlanta United. So busy July, just the way we like it. Enthusiastic crowd, you certainly know that's going to be the case in the North End. And throughout Bank of California Stadium, we are underway. LAFC is back. Back in black. Some players that as many changes occur as that ball overcooked by El Munir. But you have the likes of Carlos Vela, Diego Rossi, who have been staples throughout. Certainly Eddie Segura in the back, who continues to be the one player to play every minute of every game. And their defensive record, Max, has been so much better than last season. And Eddie Segura has looked absolutely fantastic. You know, full marks to LAFC's recruitment department to bring him into the club. And, and he has looked classy back there. He's looked quick back there. Very safe and very assured. Jordi Reyna and Benuto putting the pressure on Segura, who plays it back to Cisniega. And that defensive record is key, Robbie, because there is... They also didn't, haven't let the rot set in when there is a bad performance. They have always popped back with a good one, case in point, this past week. Yeah, and I think it's, it's a team thing defend, isn't it? I think they've kept the ball, they've passed the ball, they've used it a lot better this season. The, the familiarity from last year has continued. They, they, they're so confident on the ball. And of course, that is a, a way of defending when you have so much possession that they do. Bella Atuesta. Atuesta back into the lineup after missing the Rapids game. He did not play the full 90 against Sporting Kansas City, going 66 minutes before being replaced by Lee Wynn. El Munir looking for a few cracks there in the midfield, out of the reach of Dio. Andy Rose into space, LFC will be able to corral it. Jakovic, the man who was in the preliminary Canadian squad, making his first appearance for LFC this season, after a somewhat regular run a season ago where he made 15 appearances. Vela. Atuesta back to Vela. Henry coming in. And, and right there, Robbie, you can see how congested it is defensively for Vancouver. It is. Um, but it won't stop LAFC trying to find a way through there. I mean, that, that's what they're good at. That's, they've got technical players. Of course, they're Vela getting uh, right into those areas. He's always trying to get in between lines of players. That's certainly a free kick there. Maybe he saw the challenge coming, but there's contact there. And it's a great spot for the home side. And a free kick opportunity. Last time they had a look similar to this. Christian Ramirez in the game, and he put the ball underneath the wall of Sporting Kansas City. Carlos Vela giving him the green light. This time it's Atuesta that would be the second option. We'll see if it's a legitimate one. Vela, after not scoring, gets Colorado back to his scoring ways on Wednesday. 17 and 11. Plots it over and into the corner, but there is Maxime Crepeau, the Vancouver goalkeeper, one of several Canadian internationals returning for club play. I think Crepeau there just, I think he just read that a little bit. He was on his way to the left-hand side, just suspecting that Carlos Vela was going to just try and find that uh, top corner. Segura. El Manier. Edward El Profe Atuesta. Mark Anthony K. I'm sure saying a lot of his international teammates here. Alan Chapman providing the screen on Inbaum, allowing a little space for win. Inbaum took too long. Pinball effect. Rossi. Nope. And there is a whistle by Alan Chapman. A little too much there on the foul on Inbaum. At least that's the way Alan Chapman's going to view it. 
He's a creative player. In bomb and gets involved, sometimes plays as a number 10. He's, he's a right side of a three today, Max, and they're going with two up front. It's a 5 3 2 for Vancouver Whitecaps, Jordi Reyna and Venuto up front. So there's a threat there. They will bunker in a little bit, but with two players up front, they'll always feel they've got a risk with that sort of ball over the top and trying to get one of those two players in. They're getting off his line. Reyna gets through, plays it in goal, and Vancouver are in front. Exactly how they drew it up. Best wishes for them come true as they catch LAFC out. Fifth minute, white caps up, one zip. First time balls from midfield are so often dangerous, but this is poor from the goalkeeper, Max. We've talked about them pre-game. Cisniega's Sist been excellent in the games that he's played, but this is not good. He's not there. The defending player sees him coming out. He's probably heard the shot. He gets out the way as the goalkeeper's coming out, but he's just not there in time, and that's actually a nice finish. It's an empty goal, yes, but when you're rushing through, it's early in the game. He just calmly rolls that over the line there. Jordi Rainey, we talked about him again. When that ball is in the midfield, he will spin in behind just for that situation, but let's be clear, that that should have been dealt with by the defenders and the goalkeeper. This is a huge game for the Whitecaps who continue to try to dig themselves out of an early hole this season. Currently in 11th place, six points out of the playoff spots. This is Kay, and that's some important intervention from Crapo. Pushes it over the crossbar. I think that's the third or fourth or maybe fifth shot from distance now. And that's maybe a, another way to get through. This looked like a fantastic save, by the way, Max. There was a deflection on it. As it comes off Mark Anthony K, you're going to get another look here. Again, getting closer. Vancouver getting deeper. That's the time to shoot. Deflection was there, and he's in a good spot, the goalkeeper there. He's off his line and stretches athletically to make a really good save. Seam Craig Poe's been big time. Fellas ball this design, trying to get it to Rossi. Won't go much further in bomb. Tidy little ball, Atuesta shovels the hips. Vela, oh, they're getting Crapo up. Defenders come up to help, but this is Elmanir, it's gotta be exciting because you're going to get play. Yeah. Because that is where the space is. Vela's corner's there, off the bottom of the crossbar. It was off the header of Blackman. They inch closer and closer, but no pay dirt yet. Rossi. Flying into the 18. Inbom able to poke it away. Elmanir deflected. It's got through to Dio. High kick out by Henry. There's four players there, Max. There's four LAFC players that, that are outside the box. Someone's got to get in. And you've got to get in, in and around Diamande. He might knock it off to you. There might be a deflection. More players in the box when it does go in there. That's going to be almost impossible for Diamande to find a little bit of space to try and score. Little kick start from Reyna. Now they surround him. Pack of Lions. Chipped out of there. We'll take another look here at the corner again. Look at number 27. Wow, that's a great contact, isn't it? He's so unlucky there. A zonal marking for Vancouver there. He's running as nobody near. I mean, it's difficult. It's difficult when it comes to you that quickly. Does everything right, good contact, just really unlucky. That's taken a deflection, and it will be another corner kick. So volume of crosses, volume of corner kick for LAFC here in this first half, now into the 35th minute. Not bad, it's there! Rossi! No, it's smart of me, it's Dio! Diamande got to the end of that one, and he's tied it up in the 35th minute. Touches me hard to come by, but he got the one that counts. Well, it comes about from a shot from distance, the deflection, a corner kick, the advantage. And the positives you get from taking shots. Deflected corner kick. We just saw Blackman hit the uh, hit the bar with a great header. And Diamande here is going to attack. It's a brilliant ball in. I mean, that's an absolutely fantastic corner kick. I'm not sure how much he knows about it. But it just deflected off somebody and glanced off. Who cares? It's a goal. LAFC.
What a moment to exhale for LAFC. Things were getting frustrating, and now the ball back in their courts. Here they come, K, Lee Win. Flick for Vela, here comes Atuesta. El Munir, looking for a quick number two. He played it back, there was no one there, Inbaum knocks it out. Oh, he should have played it across. That's one of the best moments of attacking wise there, where he's right in behind and decided to come back where he should have just knocked it across the center. Oh, now the call to arms from the 32-52, Lee Win. Vela, looking for his spot, drew out the defense. Westa Rossi, good touch. Rossi deflected, but not in. Corner kick number eight. Plenty of movement, plenty of movement from Vela and Rossi. Popping up in different spots now, inside the box. That's where you want them. You want these guys inside the box. Find that little bit of space to get the shots. Another deflection will lead to another LAFC corner. Carlos Vela again on the right-hand side. We'll swing it in with that. Fantastic left foot of his. Hey, Rob, are you ready for this? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Bella. Oh. There's Dio's goal! He got it the next time! Holy Diva! And LAFC, nothing short than they deserve. Tie it up, then pull level on their eighth corner kick. They take the lead. Well, it went ooh, and it went ah, oh, and it went goal. <laughs> and the quality of these corners uh, is outstanding. Oh, the amount of that post. Now, Crepo isn't going to be thrilled with that. The goalkeeper there who totally misjudges the ball, to be fair to him. But well done, Adama Diamande there, to be at the back post, concentrated and make sure that he hit the back of the net. What a good reaction it's been from LAFC. And those corner kicks, absolutely fantastic. That, this is the best corner kick display from the team all season. They found that one spot where there was not a Whitecaps defender. And they keep forcing them. They keep forcing them with shots. Diego Rossi, we saw, came inside, shot, deflected, corner. That's what's hurt Vancouver Whitecaps. We could give the assist to Carlos Vela, but we're going to give you the assist, Robbie, for the woo ha <laughs> Well, I thought that was you. I thought that was all you and the, and we, the, and I the made fans an eye behind contact. that goal. <laughs> As LAFC begin the second half, and look out for Reyna, and that was a nice little nudge from Jakovic. LAFC with the same 11. That, that's very similar, of course, to where the goal was, was scored in the first half. I mean, Vancouver Whitecaps managed nothing apart from that long ball and that mistake and that goal. They'll keep trying to find a way with those longer balls over the top. Tristan Blackman, tidy ball. He almost scored. Mark Anthony K from long range. K! Yeah! Shot from long range. We got it. 3-1 LAFC. Continue where they left off at the end of the first half. Shoot. Take the opportunity to cut into the space and take shots. That's no deflection. That didn't go for a corner kick. It goes straight into the top corner of the net. That's unstoppable. Off the top of the crossbar there. Just comes down inside. And he had a few of those in the first half. Got deflected. Led to corners. That's what you want. There's a space there. Good power. Great accuracy. Wow. LAFC really on top now. LAFC fans, we're seeing some game-changing plays here. Getting goals off corner kicks. Getting a goal from a midfielder from outside the 18, just outside the 18. These are things that aren't regularly in the LAFC arsenal, but they are here. And after scoring his goal, Mark Anthony is down after getting hit by Reyna. He wants no part of the Peruvian afterwards. I'll tell you what's nice as well, you know, Cisniega, we talked about him a lot in the game and he made that mistake, but isn't it nice when you've got a team that, that are that good going forward, that, that if you go behind, you know that you've got the players there to create and score to win games. No foul on Reyna as he tugged down. 
That will be a corner kick, the first. At least he probably thought that should have he pointed the other direction. And for Cisniega, you told me off the air that you just need to improve that body of work. Yeah, that, we need to see more of it, Max. And we, we, we've seen great saves. This is a, it's a comfortable save, and, and saves in the previous couple of games have been really good. But what's he like with reliability? The, um, goalkeepers are judged on the amount of mistakes they make, and you've got to try and keep those to an absolute minimum to be a great goalkeeper. In bomb on the ground! Cisniega! Rose! Oh, it's wide, but they're right on cue. Pablo Cisniega with a big-time save. They may, they're campaigning for a penalty, a little contact inside. Yeah, I thought it was. Let's have a look here at the replay. There's a good save. And was there, Djakovic, I think, reached in. It looked like there was contact there. The referee hasn't seen it. I'm not sure there'll be a review on it. But again, a warning sign. The game is not dead. You can't switch off defensively. And good save from Cisniega. It was right at him, to be fair, but... Wow, that, was, that looked a, a, a risky challenge from Dan Djakovic. Whitecaps up the right side, Venuto. Not much in the forms of attack. Atuesta, Tavella, uh-oh. Carlitos. To the left boot, and in! Deflected, it's number four! I don't know if he's gonna claim it. I'll let you know shortly, but I can tell you four unanswered goals for LAFC. And we're just in the 54th minute. He'll claim it, Max, and I think he'll get it. This has been the sight for MLS this season. This guy coming inside on that left foot. You're in trouble when that happens. It's going on target. He's going to get this goal. It's deflected. It doesn't matter. The initial shot is going to be in and around on target of goal there. You let him come inside here. I mean, how many of these have we seen this so far this season? There's a deflection. It's going towards that far corner. Deflection takes it into the opposite corner. This guy, Carlos Vela, he, he was patient, Max. He waited to get inside the box. He knew it, it, that the defender could stand off even more. Comes inside and scores again. Did the same play against Sporting Kansas City. Scored then. They're going to credit for him here in the stadium. He now has a goal and assist. 18 and 12. Lee win. Rossi. You know, on Wednesday, they, I would say, they haven't scored six goals in a game. I want to put the cart before the horse as the MVP <laughs> chance starts. But they got four, and they have a lot of time. Every time, sorry, pardon me, Robbie, every time the Vela scores off the left boot, the shoes go in the air. Another tradition. Yeah, I, there's a lot of energy about the team. There's a lot of confidence about it, of course, now. I'm not sure we're going to get six, you don't know, but... It's a, it's a fantastic reaction, and Carlos Vela has been absolutely phenomenal, you know. And I asked Bob Bradley, I said, what have you done differently? He's got so many more goals this season than last season. And he just his answer was simple. He said, he's just a really good player, Robbie. He's just a <laughs> really, really good player. And, and I think that says it all. He is a fantastic individual with great feet. We've seen what his corners did in the first half. Again here, when he gets that space, and I said there'll be more space in the second half as the Whitecaps come out to try and do something, and that's when he can come alive. You know, the players are more familiar with the coach and what he wants. They've improved. Vela's been much better. Diego Rossi's going to beat his goals tally from last season. It's exactly what you want. Segura's been excellent defensively as well. It's a much better team now. Rossi, he wants his. K. Oh, Vela. Lee win. Rossi. Everyone getting a touch. El Manir. Atuesta, that one hit Fito, play on, flags down, Crapo kick save. Corner kick, it's pulsating, it, it, relentless. I mean, you were here last season, you saw there's a couple things that you noticed that really stick out about the way this team plays. Well, I remember the, the midfield was a key area. Uh, Benny Felhaber was, was a really good player. I get the sense that Bob Bradley wants a younger, more energetic midfield, and that's been different. I think the wide players now, the goal numbers are better. Eddie Segura, it, it's, it's a big thing, a big deal to bring in a, a new central defender who's very good. The goalkeepers now, there's two of them that are going to comp compete to be number one. It's all going well. Grapo reaches back. 
Draws the attention. Looks to hook it up for Carlos Vela. Atuesta into the 18. Vela challenging. Come on, he says. You want it? <laughs> Vela. Lee wins space. Not the best touch, though. K. Elmanir. K. Crepo Vela. But he doesn't score many headers, Max. <laughs> but he'll take it. He will take it. There's the space on the outside. Crosses have been better. It's a really good pullback. That's a decent save. And it's kind of a backward header oh, there. Oh, oh. Gets himself in the area just to take advantage of the rebound there off the goalkeeper. My goodness, what a season he's having. Even scored the headers in this match tonight. Well, with that luxurious hair, why not <laughs> head in a goal? Flat-footed in front. Ucha Magooch Susu Studio. Five goals for LAFC, 20 minutes to set, a single season number. It's as if Vancouver scored that early goal and are getting punished for it. There's the MVP chant. Is there any doubt? Well, not right now, there's not. I mean, of course, there's a chunk of season to go, but he is looking absolute cert for it. The goals, the quality, the assists as well. The set pieces, the corners we've seen tonight, the consistency and the quality of those. He has a role from the outside, Max. We're seeing this in world football everywhere now where your wide forwards are becoming you know, oftentimes your main score, your main goal score. He's in a wider position a lot of the time, but still manages to get in the key spots centrally to score a ton of goals, and it's, it's, it's remarkable. And the response from Carlos Vela after seeing his consecutive game scoring goal streak end at Colorado, he's responded with three goals in two games, and now 19 goals in 19 games. He also has an assist. Elmanir. What a response this has been. To be fair, the Whitecaps have offered nothing in the second half, Max. And you said earlier on with some of the body language, there's, there's nothing. There was a, you know, they had a, a little period in the first half where they defended well, but as soon as those goals started to come in, that, that's it. There's, there's nothing left to them. Bella. Uh, Twesta skates in, bags it in off the post, and it's Rossi that had to be in. They play on, it had to be in, it's going to be given, it's a goal, LAFC has six, oh, Diego Rossi. Ten goals for Rossi in 2019. It's a fun night for the fans here, Max. It's a fun <laughs> night. Again, it's so easy to get in behind. There's so many players now forward. <clears throat> Awful challenges. That was a great save off the post, off the bar there, and over the line. I think you're going to see the spin of the ball here on this second shot. <clears throat> this one, it spins it and spins it back out. That's well over the line there. She clips the crossbar on the way back out again. If we see that, continue to see that angle. There it is, behind the line, spins it back out again. 6-1. It went from a game where LAFC somewhat concerned about hitting that banana peel against a Whitecaps team to a game where it's two teams that shouldn't be sharing the field. 11 goals in two games. And an all-time single game number with six after scoring five goals in two prior games this season. And there's our mate Max, Kaka Gundawan, watching the game. What a good game for him to come and experience <laughs> this. I was joking, hey, how would you look in black and gold? And he said, well, man, this is not a bad spot to end up in. Absolutely. He said he was vacationing here, uh, LA, Las Vegas, San Diego, getting ready for the preseason. And uh, that's got to be a heck of a preseason with all that talent around you. Yeah. 
And how exciting it must be. I mean, what a club to be at and to win all those titles and to play under Pep Guardiola. And it's so nice just to get a few words with him and get a sense of that. I think you could sense how, how special he feels it is at that club and being there with all these records and trophies. It's great to watch. Yeah, we are. Kevin De Bruyne also has attended a game here and we welcome Raheem Sterling, Puna Guerra, everyone available. Caleb Porter, the Columbus coach, did compare at one point LAFC to Manchester City, and this is why they can pour on goals. I'll tell you what, Max, you know, just look, looking at this game and, and this stadium and stuff, these players have got to be enjoying this. <laughs> Everyone else is. Zelaya, did he get a corner kick? He did. Gotta like the hard work. And no, I say that because so often professional players don't enjoy it because games are tight, you worry, you stress about getting the three points. You only really enjoy it when you're about three or four goals up. They are that now and more. They'll be loving this, getting on the ball and, and really enjoying the game. 27 shots to five, 12 on target to three. 65% of the possession. Hitting all their marks, but those are just stats. The big one is goals. Harvey. Do have the 10 corner kicks as well. Rossi. Latif Blessing. Oh, that was firm and on a rope. A record night here at Bank of California Stadium. LAFC had never scored more than five goals in a game. They have now. LAFC make four changes. They bring in a player who hasn't played all season. They fall behind and end up winning 6-1. Bob Bradley still looks like there's a lot of work to be done. Perhaps there is. Commitment to excellence. There is the full-time whistle music to the ears of the visiting Whitecaps. A single game record established by LAFC and there's probably many more coming on the horizon. Some positive words from Diego, pardon me, from Bob Bradley to Mark Dos Santos. 6-1 your final, 11 goals in two games, 50 in 19. Overall, Carlos Vela scoring twice. He has 19. Pretty comprehensive. Yeah, tough start, difficult start, mistake from the goalkeeper, but great reaction. Patience was needed. It took a long time, Max, to get ahead in the game. Those shots, those deflections, those corners, and then really white caps were just, they couldn't do anything about it. And lots of space opened up. The crosses came in, the shots came in, the goals came in, and it's ended up being a fantastic night from a team that love to possess, they love to create, and they love to score goals. 2-0 in the month of July, and it's going to be a busy month, and everyone is checking the scoreboard and seeing this LAFC team is the real deal, Holy Field. At the beginning of the half, you guys were down, and then you guys completely turned this game around. From your perspective, when did things shift? Yeah, you know, uh, letting in the first goal is a little unlucky, so... This team has a lot of belief, right? And we're not going to get our heads down when we let in a goal, especially when we're at home. So we knew that we just needed to keep pushing, you know, and it was it was nice to get two goals on set pieces. And I think that just changed the momentum of the game. And then after that, we just continued to push and wanted to come out strong in the second half. And we did that. Now, third time's a charm. You had two opportunities, but it wasn't until your third opportunity that you scored. Walk me through that goal. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Ever since I came back from the national team, uh, been feeling like I can do a better job of shooting so you know I was pretty confident going into the game and warm up and then I had a couple good shots in the first half and I you know just didn't get discouraged kept going and they found the back of the net and I know the fans were expecting this we were all expecting this what happened to the dance oh uh, yeah man I don't know I just I think I was a little shocked with how the goal went in but uh I'll get the guys next time I'll get them next time I did see after you scored, you actually came to the coaching staff and you had a conversation with Bob. What was that exchange between so, you? Bob was just talking about their tactical formation switch at the beginning of the second half. So he just wanted me to relay the message to the guys. Um, yeah. Well, we wish you congratulations. And I'll let you celebrate with your teammates. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.